Pro-lifers move their feet to the beat on the street, some of them hardly old enough to walk, to support those who can't even crawl. I'm here because I just want to stop abortion. It, it's awful, it's evil, and it shouldn't, it shouldn't have ever been started. Hundreds of thousands of people, maybe even a half million of them, marching along the National Mall. They want to reverse Roe v. Wade, the 1973 Supreme Court case legalizing abortion in the U.S. 45 years since the notorious decision, nearly 60 million unborn babies have been killed. On this day, the protest invokes love. There's no hate here. Everyone is just marching together for the same cause. Everyone's so friendly and involved, and it's just really spectacular to, to witness. I'm so happy that I came. Many of those who come are young people. One of the largest delegations is from the Brooklyn Diocese. The supporters of life travel for hours from across the country. 12 hours, 12 hours. Overnight? We drove in a bus. Overnight? Yes, overnight in a bus. What was that like? Miserable, um, not a lot of sleep, but it was a good time because we were all together and we knew what we were coming for. I am so encouraged to see this many young people here and I truly believe that this is the generation that's gonna end abortion. I compared it to my high school pep rally. Why is that? Because it's just there was a lot of like uplifted spirits and happy people. But there are also mixed emotions. It's inspiring to see everyone out here, but also a little sad because we just want to see some change, but we haven't. However, change could be on the way. Before the march, defenders of life gather across from the Washington Monument. They listen as President Donald Trump and Vice President Mike Pence send video messages from the White House. Under my administration, we will always defend the very first right in the Declaration of Independence, and that is the right to life. But until the destruction of the unborn ends, this young movement will continue to march and pray for life. In Washington, D.C., Tim Harfman, Currents News.